12th race condition Pacers are on the track and printing to the post racing one mile purse of three thousand dollars number one Rothhausen owned by Alan Adkins out of Kettering Mike Wilder drives two Fitch's talisman owned by Tom Lovely of Dayton handled by driver Jeff Fout drivers change here Fout number three all shucks king of the Barber King Trust of Columbus for Dave Miller four is Morgan Mill owned by Tom York Jr. of Granville for Dan Eater five Eagles Prey owned by Walt Beaver of Hilliard Mike Lachance driving Number six, Daydreaming Night, shown by Mike Weller of Oakwood, Eric Ludford drives. Seven is Simcoe Lane, owned by Kelvin Lamb of Marion, Bob Arnetta. Eight is Alexi Alexi, owned by Jeff Reed and Kevin Reed of Ohio, Dean Collins drives. Number nine, Laura Tinsel, owned by Doug Parker, Craig Parker, and Harry Berger, Kelly Shepard of the bike. Number ten, B.K. Bentley, owned by Penny and Ron Curdle of Indianapolis, Greg Hampton in the Sulky. One play show perfecto, superfecto wagering. Twelfth race condition, Pacers are running behind the gate. The gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. They're off and uh, pacing from the outside. It's Daydreaming Night hustling for the lead for their outside, Alexi Alexi. From the inside, ah, oh, shucks, King. And from between horses comes Morgan Mill. From the outside, it's Eagles Prey as they spin into the first turn. On the outside and racing is sixth, Simcoe Lane. On the rail, pacing is seventh, Fitch's Talisman. Along the inside, eighth, it's Lord Tinsel. Ninth along the rail, Rothhausen. The early trailer is B.K. Bentley. First quarter, 28 seconds. And on the front end with the lead, it's Morgan Mill. But on the outside, here comes La Chance with Eagles Prey. Looking to take that lead away from Morgan Mill. These two slug it out now, but Eagles Prey takes the lead now. Morgan Mill strings him out of the, into the clubhouse turn along the rail and racing at three. It's Daydreamy Knight to the outside. Racing fourth now comes off Shucks King as he gets turned away. Simcoe Lane takes the cover fifth. At the half, 56 and two, and Morgan Mill battles back. Retaking the lead now to the inside and racing a second. Daydreamy Knight, three out of the outside. Oh, Shucks King and Eagles Prey has been caught outside. Is now beginning to tire. Three wide comes Simcoe Lane as the field begins to shuffle now with Morgan Mill in charge here. Oh, Shucks King, seven to one shot. Inside and three, Daydreamy Knight, Simcoe Lane still three out of the outside. Alexi Alexi is on the inside. BK Bentley into the picture now as they reach the three quarter mile marker, 126 and two. Midway to the final turn, and it's Morgan Mill to the lead. But on the inside, Day Dreamy Knight has yet to pull the pocket. Less than an eighth, and down the stretch they come. Morgan Mill to the lead, but here comes Day Dreamy Knight. Down to the inside, Alexi Alexi in the mid stretch. Day Dreamy Knight, Alexi Alexi. These two hitting the wire, heads apart. But it's Day Dreamy Knight at the wire. 156. Here's the winner from post six, Daydreaming Night. Six-year-old son of JJ's Casino from G. April by Ziptar. All then trained by Mike Weller of Oakwood, Ohio. Nicely handled by Eric Ludford. Third season's victory, the mile 156.